Welcome to Whiskey Vault. I'm Daniel. I am Ray. Uh, this is a gift. Hang on, hang on, hang on. No, wrong one. Where's my... From, uh -oh. From, uh -oh. It's about to be from uh -oh. me. Uh-oh. Oh, here it is. Okay. Bastardize me. It's from uh, Craig and Megan Mitchell. Craig and Megan Mitchell, you magnificent. Bastards. So. Four years. Yeah, link, link them. So they also are a benevolent bastard because they gave us one we already have read, link which is the two-year-old version of this whiskey. Link them. So Craig and, and Megan, you benevolent bastard. <laughs> This is the four-year-old version. Yes. This is, keep in mind, a Kentucky distillery. Okay. Doing their own shit. Yeah. Not sourcing from Barton. <laughs> this is uh, barrel 27, mm -hmm. 121 proof. Would you say that Barton is the MGP of Kentucky? Oh, yeah. 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 They're the biggest in Kentucky. Well, I don't know if they're the in, biggest by in, the numbers. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm specifically saying within Kentucky, who's doing yeah. the, more, the most sourcing. I don't know because Heaven Hill Source I, is out too. And, oh, well, yeah. But yeah. I always hear about Barton for some reason. Yeah, me too. Mm. All right. What is going on here? What is. What is that? I'm. All right. That is a is wood oil. Yeah. And, and a rubber pipe tobacco. Yeah. <laughs> rubber to it, almost like a savory sauce. Like a very savory sauce. Is that sesame oil I smell? This, you know what? If you would have poured me this and been like, "This is," it's Asian. It, yeah, again, <laughs> it's not racist. Screw you. Yeah, uh, the, but the Baiju thing. Yeah, is, yeah. That's that meaty, musty. soy, almost like a savory soy sauce. Yes. kind of. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, weird. Mm -hmm. It is interesting to see how different cultures, like their palate. The things that they're used to, the things that they enjoy, it does show up in a lot of the whiskey. So this is pot still bourbon. Mm -hmm. So that's one reason why we're getting all this like hefty flavors. I feel like they're making their cuts really wide for the age and the climate. It's uh, it's so oily, and it's just so dense and intense. Yeah, these are right, not necessarily I'm, bad things. There is that to your point. Tea like, oil. Okay. Okay. I right. am starting to get used to the funk. Yeah. It's subsiding a little. Mm -hmm. Behind it, molasses, bitter molasses and tea oil. Yeah, yeah. It's like, you, you know what? You, you caramelize the edges of a molasses. Yeah. You got a little uh, crisp, burnt, chard on the edge. Okay, then, you can get this some, one. So then there's some brown sugar and graham crack cracker blended in no, all that. I'm sorry, you can't get this one, really? It was released at the distillery. Okay. Well, actually, that's not true. I think they had it in commercial, but it was a special edition. But we do have... The two-year-old version. Mm -hmm. And what did that you, one. What do we say the proof was in there? That one you can get. See, now I, this is cool. How did they do this? This fiddly bit right here. Uh, where what? Kim, come look at it. It pleases. Well, hang on. I'm trying to find it you the two-year-old version. I'm trying to pour you free whiskey. Oh, this is one of the reasons why it's so big on the nose. It's 60.55% alcohol. <laughs> yeah. That thing that I just said, or the other, it's fine, whatever. It's fine. All right, right here, it's the single barrel cash strength. See if I can, oh. Man, we, um. Yeah, I'm gonna peel it right off here. Oh, it's not even a sticker, it's actual metal. Man, it's like cool, I want this. I can't find our, uh, I can't find our two-year-old version, <laughs> which is what I was gonna compare it to. This right here, look, it's metal. Oh, nice. You can pry it off with a knife, it comes up from right there, yeah. Yeah. Anyways. Back. Uh, aluminum. That's a heavy duty aluminum. Have you tested or not tested? Have you tasted this yet? Mm -hmm. Does it taste like it smells? I haven't tasted it yet. Okay. Yeah. What did it add though? Um, it add like a burnt honey oat and black tea. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like a really, like a classic, slightly bitter black tea. This drinks thick too. This like drinks the, like Balconis a little bit. Like the that feel of the rich, liquid. oily. Oh yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. It, it it comes across not only thickness of flavor, flavor, but I'm gonna say it. Mouth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I prefer the palate to the nose. That that sort of t phenolic note. 
It, you in talk, the nose? There is a little bit of that rubber thing. That's yeah, it's throwing me, yeah. and I can't get over it. But it's not it's not overwhelming, Mm-mm. but it's definitely present enough. Now, this is one of the clingiest, most oily, stick with you for a hot minute whiskeys mm-hmm. I've had in a while. Oh, yeah. Like, I'm, I haven't had this probably like in the last 30, 40 seconds. Still, Still taste right it. there. Absolutely. And wow. it's like, uh, it leaves you with, yeah. It's a vanilla note for me. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Weird. Ooh. Going back. Now there's a really hot mint on the front end. You get that? Yeah, like a cinnamon mint. Mm. Like a cinnamon uh, altoid. Cinnamon. A curiously strong cinnamon no. altoid. Yeah. That is unique, man. Yeah. Is, this is like one of you. you that's a sit, separator. You want to sit down and you want to pick it apart. Yeah. This isn't the thing you just pour in a cocktail to have it be invisible and familiar. This is going to take over whatever you're, you know. Absolutely. It would stand up to ice. It would overwhelm your cocktail. In a neat, in a neat pour, some people would really love to explore it. Other people would, they don't know what's going on. I can't tell if I enjoy this or not. I it's can't either. Yeah. Like right now, I can't tell if I enjoy it or not. I'm still trying to decide. Hmm. I like the palate. Yeah, the nose is still throwing you. No, nose is still throwing me. Yeah, you, even after you get it in, you you go back. I think I tend to prioritize nose over palate in as a general category, and so the nose being weird is is sort of f-ing with me a little. I'm about fifty fifty. Hmm. They both need to be good for it to be like a all around enjoyable experience. There, uh, we've got Forever Phantom. There is a doctor that lives inside me, and he prescribed me. Jim Beam for all the noise. I don't know what that means. All the noise in his head. Okay. So what this reminded me of is Jackson told me the other day. Yeah. A joke. He's yeah. like, my doctor told me that I need to drink less. Mm-hmm. And it's going to be a really hard transition. Because I've been going to that doctor for like 12 years. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> for, for sharing children's stories. Yeah. My, my little girl, she's five. Her birthday's coming up. Mm. And she's going to have a bunch of friends over and they're going to do like a party. And he's like, what kind of party do you want to do with your friends? I want to do an art party. It's like, okay. Uh, ooh, what kind of art? I want all of my friends to draw pictures of um, me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course she did. Of course she uh, did. Uh, Just stand on the little pedestal. Yeah. <laughs> draw me. Draw me. <laughs> uh, I, if I'm down to explore something unique and different. Yeah, yeah. If I want to just sit back and relax and not have to focus on This one's on going to keep interrupting it my attention. It will demand your attention. Yeah. It absolutely will demand your attention. The hipster cow. I don't know why they cut their post-tasting discussions short. The ramblings at the end are often the best parts of the episode. Uh, I'm glad you feel that way. We did just tell children's <laughs> because stories. Because for the last multiple episodes, we've been rambling. We've meandered. Uh-huh. I saw, I saw Batman recently. I haven't. I'm, I'm going to see it, but don't ruin it for me. Okay. Is it worth it? I, I liked it, yeah. Okay. Did you like the new Spider-Man? Oh, yeah. Okay, good. Because yeah. I did too. Well, I thought it was maybe the best Spider-Man I'd ever seen. Uh, I Well, Tom Holland's, I think, the best Spider-Man. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it was yeah. very good. Um, it is a very different movie. Mm. Spider-Man is? Well, oh, Batman, Batman is. is very uh, different than Spider-Man. I just showed my boys the first uh, Nolan Batman movie. Okay, yeah. yeah. This last weekend. Yeah, yeah. And I'm still on the fence as to whether they're ready for Keith, Heath Ledger. As oh, the Joker? As the Joker? I don't know, man. Like, I looked it up, and it's still PG-13. Right. But I'm like, I remember that Joker. Right. And that didn't feel PG-13. He was creepy. Right. Well, the, like, the, the ripcord you could pull, the safety net is, well, don't worry. He's just an actor. He's not real. Yeah. But he killed us. <laughs> yeah, but it, well, he didn't, but yeah. I don't know. What it was uh, Accidental mix of medications. So, this Batman. Yeah. I, this is not a spoiler. It's absolutely beautifully shot okay yeah it looks amazing and it feels like a much more intimate personal story instead of like a big you know bang explosion big booms. epic heroic type of drive right. yeah good yeah i dig it i dig it though. all right yeah how about a moonfall you've seen this thing called moonfall wow no yeah no i look I, I need this is what i need okay it's been a very long time and the the whole Rona situation, it threw off the movie movie releases. No, oh, yeah. One of my guilty pleasures. Middle of the day. Pre Rona, like everybody needs me, and whenever I'm most needed, that's when I am the most likely to be 
fuck you guys. I'm going to go see a movie. I'll be back in three hours. <laughs> That's how I stay sane. That's accurate. And things don't blow up, and it's fine. Yeah. They figure it out. But I haven't been able to do that for like two years. So I'm trying to think of like what movie's going to go to, but there's not a good, steady clip of good stuff coming out. No. But it will. My boys just went to school with no masks today. Oh, yeah. AISD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just put masks optional. And they were the first ones to say, everyone needs to go home, everyone needs to wear a mask. Yeah. So it's a whole new world, man. Yeah. I have comments, but it's neither here nor there. Whatever you believe, I'm on your side. Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight, may you fight for a friend. If you steal, may you steal your livers. And if you drink, may, may you drink, drink with us. <laughs> <laughs>